As Federal Labor Leader, I am very proud of the Labor Party's track record in working with and for Indigenous Australians. From the days in which Gough Whitlam trickled dirt into the hand of Vincent Lingiari to signal our understanding of land rights, I believe our political party has much to be proud of. Gough Whitlam's work was carried on by other Labor governments. We all remember Prime Minister Hawke handing Uluru back to its Indigenous owners. We all remember the work of Prime Minister Keating after the Mabo and Wick decisions and his powerful Redfern speech. We all remember the remarkable moment when Prime Minister Rudd apologised to the stolen generations and when he launched the Closing the Gap strategy which focuses on Indigenous disadvantage and changing lives. As Federal Labor Leader, I'm very proud of that work. But I has, I've also been very troubled that we have never been able to count amongst our number an Indigenous Australian. There has never been an Indigenous Australian who has served as a Federal Labor representative. I'm determined that at the 2013 election we change that. And that's why I'm very proud to be standing here with Nova Paris and to be in a position to announce that I have invited Nova to join the Australian Labor Party and I have invited her to seek pre-selection for the Senate in the Northern Territory. I have asked the Federal National Executive of the Labor Party to work with me on achieving this. Nova is a household name. Many would remember Nova's sporting triumphs. I think what they show is grit and determination to get things done, and I'm very admiring of that grit and determination. I believe Nova will make a great contribution in the Federal Parliament uh, for the Labor Party, for the Northern Territory and for the nation, not just because of that grit and determination, but because of the work she has done since her sporting career on building opportunities for young Australians, on focusing on the health of children, on focusing on the educational opportunities of children. Nova was the first Aboriginal Australian to win an Olympic gold medal. With the support of the people of the Northern Territory, I want her to be the first Aboriginal woman to sit in the Federal Parliament. And I'm very pleased that she is here with me today, along with her family and friends, and I thank them for being with us. I'd like to say a few words about Senator Trish Crossan, who has served for the Labor Party as the Northern Territory Labor Senator. Trish is a remarkable woman who has achieved some amazing things during her federal parliamentary career since she was first elected in 1998. She is a fiercely proud Territorian and she spent a lot of time making sure that this parliament never forgets the views and perspectives of the Northern Territory as we make policies and plans. She's someone who has travelled relentlessly throughout the Northern Territory so she could always have an ear to the ground to get the views of Territorians and bring them to the Federal Parliament. She has served with distinction on many parliamentary committees, the Senate having such a big committee load, and indeed she is doing that work even today as we stand here. She has a lot to be proud of across her federal parliamentary career, and there are many Australians with a passion for social justice who have pursued their causes uh, with the help and support of Senator Trish Crossan. She will, of course, continue to serve as the Northern Territory Senator until the next election. Now, without further ado, I'd invite Nova to say a few words. Thank you, Prime Minister. Well, um, firstly, I want to say thank you for this amazing opportunity, having been asked by the Prime Minister to contest pre-selection for the Northern Territory Senate. I stand here before you all today not only as an Australian, but as a proud Aboriginal woman, proud of my heritage and culture. I certainly understand the significance of this opportunity and I'm very honoured and humbled. Thank you, Prime Minister. Um, I firstly just want to um, acknowledge my family, my husband, Scott, Destiny, Jackie Boy, my nephew, Dante. <laughs> Danny and Dion. 
Um, I'm very honoured and humbled, thank you, Prime Minister. Um, today, with this announcement, I want people to know that I'm a Territorian, a proud Territorian, who's extremely passionate about health, education and our youth. I understand the significance um, and the enormity of the challenges that I face, and um, I'm the first person to put my hand up and say, I don't know everything, I'm here to learn. Um, I believe I can also help regain the faith in the future, and especially of um, my fellow Indigenous Australians. With this Labor government, I want to be able to help the Australian youth to live constructive and fulfilling lives, and to also become healthy and educated citizens of this fantastic and brilliant country of ours. In my life, I've never taken anything for granted. I believe in hard work, and I'll be doing everything in the weeks and months ahead to get the opportunity to represent all Territorians in the Senate. Thank you.